Uh, for many of you, uh, it will be a return visit uh, because you will have been here uh, uh, on the occasion of uh, Katie's funeral and then at the uh, memorial services that we've had uh, subsequent. Um, and uh, that is the starting place, as it were, for this service, uh, the remembering of Katie. But you'll have seen, as you've uh, been looking forward here, you'll have seen that we're also remembering uh, other uh, children who have died. And uh, so during our act of remembrance, which comes pretty much the, you know, as soon as we start the service, um, we'll be lighting candles to remember these uh, uh, people in particular. Uh, but also, you may well have on your minds the names of uh, other folk uh, uh, who have died, and particularly those who have died uh, when they've still got their parents. And, but that's the starting place uh, in our service. Everything heaven, we thank you because you made us in your own image and gave us gifts in body, mind and spirit. We thank you now for Katie and what she meant to each of us. As we honour her memory, make us more aware that you are the one from whom comes every perfect gift, including the gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ. <coughs> Meet us in the sheet, and that's because her photograph has uh, just appeared here a, moment ago, a few moments ago. This uh, candle in remembrance of Tracy Merritt. Shannon Bradshaw. Lisa Saville. Karis May. Darling. Kirsty Hart. These uh, who we've uh, lit candles for because we didn't want to stop anybody uh, sharing something. Indeed, for uh, Kirsty though, uh, Katie though, we do have uh, something here. And who's drawn this? Tyler. Tyler, okay, do you want to bring that out? And do you want to stand in front here and show it to everybody else? That's lovely. There you are. Katie, we love you. And what are these on here? Hearts. That's hearts. And this? Stars. Stars. And these are beautiful uh, multicolored hearts and stars. So thank you very much for that. Do you want to put that on the table? Because that's your work. Thank you. We'll hold it on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how we told you, while he was still with you in Galilee, the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words. Now later that same day, two of the disciples were going to a village named Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them. But they were kept from recognising him. He asked them, What are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, asked him, I want to say thank you to everyone attending today for 
My name is Tina, and it's Robinson's fifth anniversary. And today is the saddest day of our lives. Always has been and always will be. For the children, for Katie's friends, the people that knew her, and we know that still think of her every day. I'd like to thank you for the support, whether that's been saying hi, how are you, Facebook, Texas. It means the world to me and Tina and all my children and especially Katie. I didn't want Katie's death to be in vain. I wanted to keep her memory alive by setting up a support group called Losing a Child and to help every parent who has lost a child, whether it's in the past or the future. The support group, we are actually launching today. The first session is going to be held on Saturday, the March of 2nd, in the Avery Sports Centre Finals Club. And then from there we're going to have monthly meetings and try and help, depending on what part of the journey they are, and if we can help them in any shape or form, that's what we want to do. And also, um, to become a registered charity, we have to raise £5,000. And then once we become a registered charity, we can then launch it a little bit bigger. Even though we can still run the charity as it has been, um, we do need to get it registered as soon as we can. And then the bigger picture is, We want to purchase a caravan in Clapton on Sea, and all those families that we're helping, we're going to give them a free holiday in memory of Katie. Because when you're going through that journey, whether it's day one or day a thousand, sometimes maybe it's best if you just pick up yourself, the rest of your children, and go and spend some time away to recharge your batteries and we want to do that in Katie's memory to show that yes we lost Katie and we never forget her but we also want to share all our memories from these people that have sent me the photos from Manchester, Halifax Newcastle, just people that have spoken on Facebook. <coughs> As were people, but in the world of boxing, they are famous. Spencer is a big boxing promoter from London called Hard Knocks for Life. And when I met Spencer, he had time for me, just normal Brian. And that, that was special to me because that man took time to listen about my story about my daughter. And he said he'd be here, and he's a man of his words, and he stuck to his words, and he came. And he brought Larry. Larry has just won the prize fighting on Sky Sports 1. He's a uh, prize fighting champion. He's took time to come here today. Uh, also with his wife. And that's special to me, that people have actually took their time and came here. And also... I want to thank uh, Mr. Andy Higgs, who has, we've been sitting together over the last couple of weeks, putting this service together. And there's also people who are not here, who I do know, think about Katie and us as a family. So if there's anyone I haven't mentioned, please pass on in my regards to them. And also, just to finish off, that we've been contacted by a, a young lady, called Brogan Price, 
who's sitting just at the back there. And she has just won the Miss Team Essex and she's actually contacted us and she's going to help us um, raise some funds for the Katie Johnson Community Trust Fund. So, to me, even though it's our journey as two parents with the children, it feels like I've got an army with me and that means so much to me, Tina and all the children. So I just want to thank you for that and um, please enjoy the rest of the service. Thank you. Understanding and encouragement at times when they are most vulnerable. 